Okay, I uh, thank this guy for, uh, I don't know how I can thank you. I can't find it now. You sent me a link. Uh, he's in the previous comments with this image from the Daily something or whatever. Look at this image. We're, I'm, it's going to have some surprising information in it. But you can see, a, I'm sorry, i got to realize you can't see where I'm pointing, so I'll do that. We have the, uh, you can see where it ripped away the building. But let's just, let's just cut to the chase here. Give me a second, put my window up. Remember, this is screen recording off a cell phone. Let's look down here. We've got the, the, the building collapsing in. Uh, the floor, see the floor where the cars are in, at the above, above grade there? And then we have, let me screenshot that. This looks more like a sinkhole than not. Look at the, uh, the ground right there. This looks like a sinkhole. Look at your grade over here, where they're, where, over to your left. Um, it's tapering off. But this looks like a sinkhole. So let me go ahead and do the... Uh, so then you get this unsupported span between these two. Let's go. So that corner right there. And the corner right here to there. And we remove the center post here by a sinkhole action, let's call it. That makes the unsupported span go from this column. Not that one. It's gone now. That point to this one. So you have a, 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 a sinkhole there. But the problem is, there's the sinkhole right there over at this structure, and we don't have this building shifting down over here at this location. It looks like the white using the white lines that we've got that they they did put these columns down. The, the surface tension, the skin friction, is enough to support this structure. So the sinkhole that was here, that would be that would be part of this structure over here, where my center of the screen is, that started this progressive collapse, would have had to be underneath uh, pretty damn deep to undermine these columns. Well, I would say just one column is all it would need to undermine. The one in the center here, for example, that makes the unsupported span from the left to the right, and that means this, this structure here would all have a stress all the way up across from it, depending on how they, they, uh, they, uh, the reinforced concrete was designed. But this is looking more like a sinkhole um, that started this. Not anything nefarious. I don't think anyone's gone out of the way to make a sinkhole. So I discount all nefarious actions and go right for a sinkhole on this one. The, uh, there's the column below this pad even. Behind the center column, there's a column that appears to be to the left. So it has a subfloor for parking. So I might have to eat shit on that one now. That looks like a subfloor for parking that broke. All right, I'm going to eat shit on that one. I'm going to, in other words, I discount myself. That white line that we see at the center of this column is where the floor was, uh, it punched around that column and the floor cars fell. So. Um, yeah, I'm going to load this up anyway and talk about it, that capacity. That's an upper deck garage, and it appears as a lower deck garage. Um, so, I, I, nope. So, I like to load this up so you can have my in and out, my, my first thinking of it, and, and then my debunking myself on the sinkhole now. Wait a minute. Because, oh, shit. We're looking at the columns there, I believe. Look, one right here in the middle, below the man in the black, white shirt, black pants. Uh, off to the in the center there, the, behind that guy to the right, and then center of the video here is another column. And they're they're not they're not down in the ground. They broke free. So your sinkhole action would have to start. It didn't start there. There's one, two, and here's our third column. Remember, I'm doing this from a cell phone, so bear with me. And here is the other columns. They're they're standing proud. In fact, these got it punched. These guys are standing on a deck. They punched around each one of these columns. Look right there in the center, Gregory. You like that one? Right in the center, uh, firemen to the firemen's on the edge of the screen there. So go. Um, let's say at the top of the screen is noon, the middle of the clock, which is center of the screen. There's a punch right there. These columns are standing proud. They're not. Um, that appears to be a column. They're, they're punching through. So they're not. Uh, they did not sinkhole themselves. Oh, okay. So initially, you heard me start off in this video saying sinkhole. 
and then you see how my brain works. It gets that's data, right? Remember, I told you we get we just have data, and then we make conclusive files from that data, and then we we take on more data. And if you if you if you got an ego problem, you won't change your mind. Oh no no no, it could be could be. It's got to be that. But if you let the the new data come on board and it conflicts your old data and your conclusive file, and you post it like I'm going to do here, this will help you with one thing, getting rid of your ego, which, which really stops you from changing your position. So that's why ultimately I post this, uh, even with the, the defect of thinking in the beginning, because I want you to see how your brain should work. And not that I'm, I'm perfect, because I, I, I'm triggered all the time, and you can bait me in. So uh, in other words, you, you, you're attacking my conclusive file, and I'll attack back at you. But the data, I let it attack me. I let the new data attack me, and, and I don't let it live. I don't stand my ground on it. So, no. So, I don't have evidence of a sinkhole here now because I don't have evidence of it because the pile of debris appears to be enough to account for the structure. Um, and the, uh, these guys aren't worried about being sucked into a sinkhole either. Um, we have an existing structure here that shows just punch, punch here around the, the decking, punching down. It's not going down. Um, this looks like an upper deck. The pool is in status quo. It looks good. It was in built in gray, built in ground. Uh, these guys up here in the top, up here, this walkway area, that fence area, is stable. Um, we have a slight rotation of this this uh, planter box inward. It's not. It was at grade. Apparently at grade. Uh, apparently at grade. Maybe not. I could be on top of a damn deck. Um, you could probably count the floors. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can probably start counting these floors, the layers. Um, now, as far as building about them, uh, do well, look. That looks like now. Now I'm I'm being biased because I don't know it. But that looks like part of the column punching through in the screen there, a square, and that would be kind of close for the other one. Um, there's part of a column, a pair is a big part of a column there. There's your AC units. Um, the pile is, the rubble is huge. It's not engulfing the street as far as the, uh, 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 this, so I'm just taking on data and to see if it can make my contract conflict, my conclusive file saying I have, I have two conclusive files. One saying, think sinkhole. One saying, well, prove sinkhole. And I can't prove sinkhole. They're building the structure around it, the street is all good but it does not mean that this didn't fill in the sinkhole the debris but I I don't see that because this this looks no this looks like the amount of debris from that building standing on the sitting on the ground of course some displacement or depression in the ground would have taken place and you know some could be a half inch far as I'm concerned um, we got the structure next door sound we don't have any I, I don't think this is a sinkhole because the columns are not, I needed the column, you need the column to fail to get this to fail. And they didn't, they ran this in columns and they closed in the walls, I think. I, I think. So in other words, that's my conclusive file, not supported by real structural analysis as far as seeing the, the building being built, the old images. But I think we see that it's got columns, it's on columns here. And I think if we look at, oh, okay, wait a minute. If we look at, let's just show you the conflict of that. We look at this image we look at the bottom oh I can't zoom in yeah I can we look at the bottom you can see it's all column and maybe some closed in walls there to make room you know uh, I don't know parking etc but they're just columns and we're not accounting for so you got to undermine the columns to make this fail and I think this is above ground below ground parking by one grade by one one, one elevation all right I'm ending the video with that I don't think this is I don't it does not show sinkhole based on. Let's see if I can go over. Nope. I gotta go this way. I gotta do this. And then this. I see columns here. Now, I want you to, to, to question me on that one because I need to prove those are columns I'm looking at. These straight up white right here. They look about the same scale as that. They sheared about the same level as the deck. As this deck here. I wonder if the color scheme was white below. And then this tan above for decorative reasons, so everything below 
So we're looking at below grade, looking at the white part of this column, I'm theorizing. Ending video, I'm kind of excited about uh, that theory. All right, let's see if I can really end this video. Where's the, this thing? Okay, I'm gonna post this one if this works. Please work.